When I was a supervisor, one day I had an operator follow behind a job that was already set up and continue to run the parts. A normal day, right? Well, not so much. A job that was already set up and running should be good to go. But are we willing to risk our own paychecks for the thought of everything being right from the shift before? When I was running a grinder, I double check everything. Make sure the programs were right, tools were calibrated, and diamonds were good. No matter how experienced the shift was that I followed, everyone makes mistakes. That's part of this game. How we mitigate our mistakes is checking our own work. Well, this particular job, we checked the inside diameter with a dial bore gauge. The gauge was set using gauge blocks or Joe blocks, and we reconfirmed the zero before we checked the parts. The tolerance was only two tenths, so not much room for error. The previous shift set it up and ran almost half. Then my operator came in and continued to run the parts because, hey, the tie-in said, all set, just hit the green button. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not one to just hit a green button without bare minimum looking over my program. It doesn't matter if their parts came out perfect. My name is tied to the parts that I do, not what they did. Machine shops usually operate by shift work. Shift work has its benefits for the company and sometimes for the employer. The shop benefits by having the capability for 24-7 production. And employees sometimes have a benefit for their home life. Although most people would want to work during the day and sleep at night. But sometimes in life, we don't have a choice. We do what we have to do to support ourselves and those we care about. Working an off shift comes with its risk though. There's more room for error on following shifts due to the operators not sleeping enough or not really getting a break due to the adjustment needed for working outside of regular hours. Anyway, the parts were finished up and pushed out. No one thought any different. One job done, on to the next one. Just another normal day. The parts made their way out of the grind area, through a clean area, and wherever else they had to go before they went to final inspection. When they got to final inspection, the parts were checked for final blueprint dimensions. The usual tolerances were looked over. Roundness, taper, surface finish, size. Well, the inside bore was 7 tenths oversized. Okay, so we have one part out of 30 oversized. Maybe the operator missed it and let it leave the area. So another was checked, and another. They all checked bad. It turns out every part was oversized 7 tenths with minor deviations ranging in the millions. All the parts were rejected. How could every single part be oversized and to that extent all around the same size? Turns out the dial bore gauge that was used was set by using the wrong drill blocks. That's the only thing that could have made every single part to the same size but the wrong dimension. Every single part was scrapped due to this error and had to be thrown out. Lots of money and time lost to this error and it could have been avoided if the shift change or the previous shift had just double checked those Joe blocks. Another point and no matter the experience level, mistakes can be made. Our jobs as machinists, apprentices, lead men, management level is to strive for greatness by perfecting the small things. It's the small things that can trip us up. The mindset of I've done this a million times or I can do it in the dark, it can lead to serious trouble. Everyone makes mistakes. Even the most experienced machinists are prone to making a mistake every now and then. Scrap is part of this trade. The only way to mitigate making scrap is to learn from the past and keep moving forward. When I was on the floor grinding, my boss at the time told me, I'll never be on your ass for scrapping our work. It's two tenths final dimensions. That's pretty tight. By the time you catch a mistake, it's probably too late, if you can even catch it at all. A simple double take could have resulted in maybe one or two bad parts, but this run and gun type where no follow up lookovers after a shift change can get you in a very expensive mishap. Long story short, the parts were scrapped, a new order was put on the hot list, and was very closely monitored until it arrived back at the final inspection. Everyone had a hand in these parts, pretty much from the operator running them to the plant manager. I hated being micromanaged, but due to the severity of the scrap cost and time lost, that's what had to happen. What is something that could have been avoided in your shop? I'm Chris from Titans of CNC. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got more amazing content headed your way.